about 140 miles northwest of Houston, there's this little place called Cameron, Texas. They've got life figured out kind of nice down there, having learned that some of the simplest things are the most worth doing. Down inside the five, you got a score. Yeah, you got a score. It's the type of place where you don't even have to say, I'll have the usual. They already know. Hey, it all depends. Oh, all depends on the line. Up front, that's it. That's what it's all about. And you don't have to haggle with the mechanic or the repairman, because you've known them since second grade. I guess this is what people mean when they say, small town America. But that makes Cameron sound like any other place. And it's not. Because the rest of the world revolves around the sun. Cameron revolves around the Friday night lights of the yeoman. In Cameron here, a family got a son. If the daddy played, a grandpa played, you ain't got no choice. You know, you go ahead and you're going to play. My name is Franklin Glauser, and I've been a yeoman fan since 1946. And I'm 84 years old. <laughs> You know, the old saying is, once a yeoman, you're always a yeoman. So that's where I got started, uh, and I've been going ever since. We ain't lost for three games in seven years in district. This Friday, we're in the quarterfinals, we're playing Melikoff, and my opinion is this, if we win that game Friday night, we will be in the state championship game. Here you go, let's go, let's go. Back, back, back. Been great. There you go, found him. Nice, good, good. I grew up in Cameron. I've lived here my entire life. When I was a kid, everybody was kind of like a superstar. You know, you'd see football on TV, the NFL teams, and then you'd come out here and you'd think the same exact thing. One day, you want to be one of these guys out here on the field making those plays. Good work. Fly around, man. Let's go. Our first time ever coming to a game, I was like, whoa. I loved it. I, I said, I have, to, I have to be a young man. I have to. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Good. Hey, Stay with it. Hey, hey. Hurry up, come on, Dre. Let's go, defense. Get lined up. Hurry up. Here you go. Pop, pop, pop. Let's go, let's go. Nobody's got to tell the head coach that Cameron orbits around the yoga. Let's go. Run it. Run it. Let's go. Because Tommy Brashear wore the jersey himself. Coach Brashear had a stint as an assistant on the Yeoman's three state championship teams in 2012, 13, and 14. Hey, if they jump you, then we're going to hit our number two round, okay? And in a place like this, they certainly want you to win football games. But you best teach every young man on your roster what it means to be a yeoman. And when you put that jersey on, you're not just representing yourself. I wasn't just representing Tommy Brashear. I was representing my family in this school, within this whole community. Here we go. Y'all ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Right on three. One, two, three. All right. Here in Cameron, there's only one day of the week, and the rest of them just all blur together. There's everything else, and then there is Friday night. If you can feel yeoman fever swirling, that can only mean one thing is coming. Less than 24 hours from now, kickoff. And a good Friday morning and TGI Triple F. It's finally Football Friday. Yes. Yeoman, take on Malakoff tonight up in Waco. And uh, last person out, just, just flip the lights off because it's going to be a dandy. This is what everybody is basically calling the ticket to the state title. Pep Rally 145, be sure to get out there and support the Yeoman at the Pep Rally. It'll be a crazy scene. If you don't get pumped up from that, you're, well, you're not a yeoman. It relieves you. You know, you, you don't worry about what happened last this week. It's football Friday, just like church, you know. It's church Sunday. This is Friday night. It's football night. 
Here in Cameron, everybody gets ready, everybody heads out of town, it empties out. It's kind of like, you know, NFL Super Bowl. If Dallas is playing, you know, everybody from Texas is, is going to be there watching that game. Cameron Yeoman, same way. And they'll be there yelling, screaming. We want our team to win. It's the same. It's just on a smaller scale, I believe. When I put on a jersey with Cameron across my chest, it makes me feel like I'm a part of something. And with the town behind us, it makes me feel like a yeoman. And to be a yeoman, it's something special. We set a goal at the beginning of the year to win that state championship. But right tonight, it's Malakoff in our way, you understand? They want what we got. They want to beat the best. They wanted us, so they got us. You play this game fast like a yeoman. You play this game hard like a yeoman. You play this game smart like a yeoman. You understand? Yes, sir. They don't have the heart we got. We are moments away from kickoff here as the Cameron Yeoman takes on the Malakoff Tigers. Miller bangs his way down to the one yard line, still fighting. Did he get in? He did. Touchdown on the opening drive. The Tigers take the lead. From the 15, Andrus dropping back. Quick bubble screen. That's caught. Corey Smith at the 10. Breaks the tackle. Spins at the 5. And he dives into the end zone. Touchdown. So each team has cashed in on their opening drive. The stakes, the challenge, the drama. Everything's bigger in the Texas State playoffs. Room, makes a man miss, and now he's on a foot race out to the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. That'll put Malakoff out front. Hey, come here. We're in a battle. You understand me? Yeah, one man to beat. at the 10, 5 touchdown. The Omen. There it is. Malakoff overcame the Cameron defense and the Omen faithful to push the game to overtime. He takes it in for the score. They're all tied up. Let's go execute. You got to get lined up fast. Where both teams carried the weight of the world on their shoulders. Tied at 34 in overtime. It all hangs in the balance. A 30 yard field goal attempt. Hey, let's block this thing. You with me? Let's block this thing. Here is the snap. Here's the kick. Yeah. It's up. Oh, God, God. Unbelievable. And the Cameron Yeoman season comes to an end. Well, life doesn't always work out the way it does in movies. The big game comes, and sometimes you lose it. But this isn't a story about the big game. It's a story about people. Some play on a football field, and others watch them do it. And how the things we have in common, well, they help us find out just who we are. Y'all played y'all's hearts out. Y'all played tough. Y'all played to the very end. You're yeoman through and through. Win or no win, you are yeoman through and through, and you always be yeoman. Now there's another big game, just over two hours southeast, down there in Houston. Yes, the Super Bowl. And they'll be able to fit the whole town of Cameron in there 13 times over. And I'm sure there'll be some fantastic play. And 70 some thousand people can't help but rise as one and hoot and holler as they watch it unfold. And I suspect then, they'll get a little taste of what it means to be from Cameron, Texas.